الذين آتينا who we gave hope them al kitaba the book ya'rifuna they recognize they know him means muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so they recognize rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ka like ma they like what ya'rifuna like what they know that what they recognize how they recognize Abna, their children. Abna, ahum, hum, their children. As they recognize their children, they recognize Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is about the people of book. And why that is? Because in the Old Testament and New Testament, there are several mention of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, according to Muslim understanding. Obviously, with the change and tahrif of their books, they do not appreciate that. They question it. So, if you look at what Torah and Injil had about the certain glad guidance about of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Likewise, in Quran, Allah mentioned that that they had it in their books. So we obviously believe in that Quran mentioning it. We believe that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam clarifying it. We have no doubt about that. But when it comes to Bible, there are certain evidences, but they say this word or this glad tiding and this information is about Jesus or about Angel Jibreel or about someone else. They wouldn't accept that for Rasulullah Even the word, there are certain words which are exact translation of Muhammad. So for example, Parakletos, which is Farqalit. There are certain passages in Bible which Allama Rahmatullah Kiranui Rahmatullah he wrote a good explanation of that which has been translated by Musi Taqif Mani Sahib Hafizahullah in Urdu language Bible Sikh Quran Tat that's worth reading and that's part of our reading you know uh, curriculum that we decided for you lot which we do every day four days a week which is from 10.30 to well, it's 10.50 these days for Isha change. So 10.50 to roughly half an hour, we read different, different subjects in Urdu language just to get used to of the text. So, so one of that would be this text of Bible, Bible, Quran, Tak, which has given a lot of evidences. So if we just read a few of them, I just quoted a few. So this is from Deuteronomy. Uh, all is the new revised standard version. So this is the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people you shall heed such a prophet this is Musa alayhi salam mentioning about who Rasulullah because there's no one like Musa alayhi salam after Musa alayhi salam except Muhammad he was given a new teaching all the code of law everything which stays in us Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had. He has a very long following, big following. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had. I will raise up from them a prophet like you from among their own people. I will put my word in his mouth of a prophet, in the mouth of the prophet who shall speak to them everything that I command. Again, this is for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is similar words are mentioned in Quran. He said, the Lord came from Sinai and dawned on them from Sair. He shone forth from the Mount Paran, and he came from the midst of 10,000 holy ones. 
and his right hand, and at his right hand there was flashing lightning for them. So the Sinai is Musa alayhi salam, He's talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sent through. So Allah came as a Allah's revelation came to Musa alayhi salam on Mount Sinai. And the sayer is Isa alayhi salam, his area. And Mount Paran is Faran, which is Arabian Peninsula. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that order mentioned in Deuteronomy, even now, this is whatever is in there now, not been changed yet. And then 10,000 holy ones he would come with. And this is the battle of the conquest of Makkah when Rasulullah had 10,000 people with him conquered. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, Mustafa, Mujtaba means chosen one, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations, to the nations. Christians, Jews, Muslims, they all benefited from the justice of Rasulullah even in his time and afterwards carrying on the same legacy through Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina Umar and people know it. He will not cry out to or raise his voice nor make his voice heard in the street. He wouldn't be shouting. Rasulullah was very gentle in his speech. A bruised reed, he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not extinguish. Means he's not going, this is a metaphor for not causing any harm to anyone for personal reasons. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not be disheartened or crushed until he has established justice in the earth. So nothing would cause him to stop from his mission. This is what Rasulullah said when he was left on his own to begin with. Then he had very few people he was tortured physically and verbally and emotionally. He lost his children, his family. He had trouble after trouble. And yet, even leaving the country, the city that he was born in and raised, he was made to suffer from the physical torture by stones and stuff. And yet, he carried on to the point that he said, Oh Abu Talib, the uncle, when he had to come and speak to him, say, my nephew, you're giving me tough time. People are asking me to stop you from doing that. Can we just have a compromise? It's enough trouble, enough concern, enough hatred, and people are just getting tortured by this. And they're very unhappy of you not accepting their forefathers' idols as their God. So is there any way we can have a reconciliation? So say that we Rasulullah said to Abu Talib, Wallahi, even if they put sun on my one hand and moon on the other, I would not stop. Either I would die in this point, in this course, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would fulfill my mission. And this is what happened. This is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Isaiah. His mouth is sweetness itself. He is altogether lovely. Muhammadin. This is Hebrew word, Muhammadin. The praise one. Who, who could it describe? This is my beloved. This is my friend. And then, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. It is beneficial for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the comforter, this is Jesus saying now, that was the Old Testament, this is New Testament. The comforter, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is, when he comes, he will reprove the world of sin. He just clean the world of sin and of righteousness and the judgment. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is to come, when he comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but who whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He will tell you the things to come. End of time, or whatever. All the prophecies of Rasulullah. This can't be anyone. Jesus telling us, peace be upon him. Isa alayhi salam. And there are many passages like that, even in the current Bible. This is all from current Bible. Jesus, peace be upon him, answered, the name of the Messiah is admirable. But God himself gave him the name, admirable. 
someone who has been admired, Muhammad. That's the translation of Muhammad. When he had created his soul and placed it in the celestial splendor, God said, wait, Muhammad, for thy sake, I will decree paradise. The world and the great multitude of creatures whereof I make thee a present, insomuch that whoso bless thee shall be blessed, and whoso shall curse thee shall be accursed. When I shall send thee into the world, I shall send thee as, a, my, as my messenger of salvation, and thy word shall be true. Insomuch that heaven and earth shall fail, but thy faith shall never fail. Whatever happened, come what may, you are going to be steadfast. Muhammad is his blessed name. Then the crowd lifted up their voices, saying, O God, send us thy messenger, O admirable one, come quickly for the salvation of the world. But they keep changing those words to whatever. So this is the Injil of Barnabas. Barnabas, Barnabas, whichever way. So this is one of the, this is the disciple of Sayyidina, Isa a.s. The problem is, he, he was like Abu Bakr Siddiq to Isa a.s. The right hand man. And they all accept that. But his Bible, his gospel has come up only in, well, resurfaced only about 500, 300, between four and 500 years ago. So they say this is so much of a copy of Quran that this is written by a Muslim. We don't believe that it has come from the Quran. They do not believe that. That's the only, and this is one of the, I think is a miracle of the, the text itself from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeping that main person's account preserved. And if you read it, and I've read the translation of that long time ago, and I used to do a lot of talks on that, it was just like, you know, amazing. Whatever it says has exactly the same understanding of the. And this Barnabas, he himself, he mentioned how Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam and the disciples, 30 of them, were resting. And he mentioned all of that, what would happen. One of you would betray me, as still there in the Bible. So Judas, Yehuda Iscariot, Iscariot, he went out while they were all sleeping and locked it. So Barnabas himself, in his Bible, he said that I saw, we were feeling sleepy and master, teacher, they used to say Ustad. So Ustad, master, he asked us to sleep. We start sleeping. And I was between the wake and sleep. So I saw angels coming from the, what you call the window of the top, like in a ventilating window at the top, Roshan Dan. And they took Ustad and I saw him going while I was, I'm not sure what exactly happened, but I was in the sleep and wake and I saw him going all the way up to heaven. I saw him going up all the way up. And as I was in this, you know, experience, I heard knock at the door. As soon as there was no, I just woke up and I was like, you know, completely got sidetracked. I opened the door and there was police. And they said, and they were just barge and tight. And we were all like, you know, everyone woken up, obviously, 30 of us. We were scared about the police because there was already the, you know, warrant, warranty out, get him, what do you call the warranty for, for his name, get him out, warrants. So he said, as soon as they entered, they rushed in. To that, to that room, our chamber, everyone got up and they said, where is, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? So we all said, you are Jesus. He just came from, like, you know, and the police then arrested the men and he started shouting, I'm not, why are you making this up? I'm not Jesus. I'm not Jesus. And we said, you are, because he was Jesus. Barnabas said, and this is what we now know. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ وَلَكَ يُشُبِّهَ لَهُمْ They didn't kill him. They didn't crucify him. Except that we made a resemblance for him. So the understanding is that this man was Judas, Yehuda Iskariuti, who betrayed and he got the police after locking them when they were all sleeping for 30 gold coins. This is still in the Bible. And as he entered, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned his face into Jesus. You know, you have similar appearance anyway. Same beard, same robe, same everything. You just need to change a little bit. For Allah, it's easy anyway. So, so as they barred in, there was a commotion, obviously. And then, you know, so where is Jesus? There is. 
So he is saying, I am not, because he is rich. And they are thinking that he is hiding. So they got confused. So that confusion was the reason for many people among the disciples thought that it was Jesus, perhaps. Was, even the mother felt, because the face is like Jesus, obviously, because it was for them made to appear like that. And this is what exactly the Quran says. Obviously, they wouldn't know then. And then even mom, according to their subsequent you know, statements that Maryam alayhi salam, she is coming and holding onto the feet of the hanging crucified son, thinking that this is, you know, obviously she would, because he looks like that, she wouldn't know. The Sahaba of Jesus and his son, they wouldn't know. Because there's no more revelation coming. How would they know? They can't know. So they got confused. Some of them did. And it is more likely that Barnabas himself, they never, he never got confused, but he felt it like this, but then he corrected it. That's why you would not find him mentioned ever again in other books. The main person has been completely out. And that to me, Allah knows, obviously this is Muslim version. They would not accept that. They say that this is Muslim's concoction or whatever. That's up to them. They will find out on the day of judgment. But I think that will happen when Saul, Paul, is the first. When he turned up, he was from the people who concocted, who planned this killing of and crucifixion of Isa alayhi salam. He was empty. Why he was? Because these rabbis, it was all Jewish land. And Isa alayhi salam himself was from the Jewish community, from the same family. So he was raised among them. But his criticism was mainly on those rabbis, the leaders, not the common people. He said, when it comes to yourself, you even digest the whole camel. For clayman, you have a sieve for even the smallest of the ants and insects and mosquitoes. You can't have even that much. And when it comes to them, they could do whatever. So he criticized the rabbis brutally. And obviously they all turned against him. The government was under Romans. So they were controlling, but it wasn't. The law was implemented according to Jewish you know, scripture. So for them, magic was a major sin. Kufr, in fact, disbelief, as it is in Islam, a major sin. So they considered it to be kufr, disbelief. So they said, and they plotted like this, saying that Jesus is doing magic. And magic is, oh, what, what was the magic? He's turning water into wine or, or drink of some sort, and according to Bible, but according to Islamic teaching, he would turn a you know congenitally blind person into a seeing person. Like he would just wipe his eyes. Mother Zad and someone who is born blind, he would just wipe his eyes and he'll be seeing again. Okay? Leper, leprosy was like you know, completely un you know, untreatable condition. But he would touch the body and people would be just fine. The, and he could tell you what you have eaten and what you stored. Like, you know, by looking at you, what's in the tongue, food. And he would make the birds, small birds from the clay, and then it would blow and it would become a living bird. So those were the miracles the Quran mentioned about Jesus being the upon. So they say this is all magic. When it's magic, he deserved to be killed. We should cru crucify him. They all agreed on that. And when the, the king was sitting there who has to, who had to finally okay the orders of crucifixion, he, he demonstrated that in front of everyone. And this is in Bible as well. They agree. He washed and he brought a bowl of water, washed his hand, saying that I wash my hands from the man's blood. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not doing it. It's your doing. This is according to your scripture. I, in my country, the, the rule that we follow, we wouldn't have done that because it is not justified. This man, I don't see any problem. It's your jury as a, as a jury uh, plan. You are planning it, not me. He washed his hand from the blood of Jesus, peace be upon him. Anyway, so that was the announcement. And they started finding him. And this is when Jesus, peace be upon him, had the last supper, though, so they say, together, together. So this is how Jesus was taken up to heaven. And rather Allah has taken him up towards him, up in the heavens. Now, 
when one of those 12 or 13, however big the jury was, this was Paul, one of them was, according to some. And some say that he was just a common man there from the Jewish tribe, a rabbi, knowledgeable person. But then he said, I saw, three days later, I saw, I met, I had this mukashafa, this meeting with Jesus people, because they believed that Jesus came back, already came, come back the third day in the chamber or whatever, the counting is wrong, but anyway, they, they claim that according to their death. All, all of this, this, according to us, has been concocted by Paul. And he was a Jewish man, converted, claimed to be converted to Christianity. So I always harmed and caused trouble to start. I want now to repent for all of that. This is my expiation. So I am going to be the promoter of his message. I would propagate it. I would teach it. Uh, this is what, because I saw him on my journey and, you know, I was just walking past. I saw him and I said, oh, Stan, how come you are here? I said, yes. Oh, I didn't realize. Now you, you're a true prophet or true son of God. I would rather follow you. So he has given me this responsibility. And people are just so dumb generally that they are, if they're not knowledgeable enough, so they just started taking his, his views. As you guys take anyone who's on the channel, on the YouTube channel, more clout. If you got 100,000 you know, views, then you are better scholar than the one who's got five only. This is your criteria. You get more likes there, isn't it? So yes, those big guns in America, in UK, and in Pakistan, and Bangladesh, every part of the world, they, they are the main leaders, so to say. And the pious ones, true scholars are hiding in their small hermits, saying they're in Masai, you know, they burn the bus and the old the likes, they are in their small world. They're teaching wherever they could access. And people are following him as the leader because he's more vocal, maybe more clout, maybe more glamour. And he has come up with a new idea. Let Jesus peace be upon him. He only said that I have been sent to the lost sheep of Israel. I'm only there to bring people back to the track. And what Saul did, he changed it all. For everyone, everyone should come. And I'm going to change this and this and this. Everything becomes okay, whatever. And he created this idea and the people subsequently followed it. So this is what we believe happened. Confused. This is why Quran says about Christians that they were born. They were misguided. They were misguided. So he, what Saul cleverly did, used their love and affection and compassion for Jesus, peace be upon him, and made it into a new story, changed it completely, because it is inconceivable for the Son of God or any prophet to come and get in trouble when they got in trouble and they start crying. So they say, even in today's text, you would find, Eli, Eli, Lima Sabakhtan. So Jesus is crying, Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, why did you abandon me while he was being crucified? Why would a prophet or son of God, especially if he's sent for this reason only, cry for that? Doesn't make sense. But anyway, this is what they believe. That's them. So Injil Barnabas was something that I always aspired to. This, you know, this is amazing stuff. 35 years back. Amazing stuff. Anyway, but they don't believe it. They, they, but there's a group of people who believe from Christianity and they're more close to Islam. And then we know, inshallah, the Quran says categorically, in the same passage about the crucifixion, they didn't kill, they didn't crucify. Allah says, when Jesus comes back, Everyone from the people of book would believe in him. If they are true people of book, mean they, if they truly believe in the, the Old Testament or New Testament, they would believe in Jesus peace be upon him as the true messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and become Muslim. Like, you know, the true teaching would be there. So before his death, is that before his death, as in before the person dies or before Isa alayhi salam dies? Because then he would have his natural death, natural life as well. So from Jewish people and from Christian people, like Muslims, obviously, so they will all be together on the side of Jesus, peace be upon him, when he comes, once he has killed the Dajjal, the Antichrist. Some would say, or oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they actually go to extreme saying that the Antichrist mentioned in our text, Old Testament and New Testament, is Muhammad now. 
And some say Jesus was Antichrist. When he comes back, they will consider him to be Antichrist and the Jal they will take as Christ. So isn't that crazy? Why that happened? Because if you are not sincere in your search for truth, you get whichever way you get. Your nafs will drag you into all the wrong places. That is why we make dua. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa rizqna tiba'a wa arina al-baatila baatila wa rizqna jitinaba. Oh Allah, guide us and show us the truth as truth and give us tawfiq to follow it and show us the falsehood as falsehood and give us tawfiq to refrain from it. And that can only happen if you are sincere about it. Whatever you do, make sure that you have connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a way, Ya Allah, oh my creator, even if you're not Muslim, just say you know, completely, you know, with a free mind, free eye, free, free ideas, no preconceived ideas at all. Whoever is my creator, even if you don't believe in the creator, say, if there is one, I truly and sin sincerely want you to guide me to the right. Not in such in such way, in this way and that way. If you guide Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, according to your understanding or your baggages, then you're going to do that because you're not sincere there. Sincerely ask, you would get there. Okay, he hears everyone. So may Allah give us all the tawfiq. وَإِنَّ فَرِيقًا مِّنْهُمْ لَيَكْتُمُونَ الْحَقَّ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And indeed, in, indeed, فَرِيقًا a party, من whom from them لَيَكْتُمُ لَا Most surely, يَكْتُمُونَ They hide, they conceal الحق, the truth, while they know. This is what a group of them are doing. And through that, misguiding many others. But Alhamdulillah, people are studying on their own. They're still coming to the truth. They're getting it. May Allah make it. Al-Haqqu min Rabbika fala takoonanna min al-Mumtareen. This religion, this teaching, this book, this Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is Al-Haqq, this is the truth. Min Rabbik from your Lord. Fala. So do not takoonanna, do not become from those who doubt. So do not become the doubter. Do not question. Trust it. Inshallah. Ta'ala. Yes, leave that there. Inshallah. Okay, we'll cover the rest next week. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum.